Many of my hypermobile clients deal with SI joint pain or sacral iliac joint pain. Your sacrum is the bone of your spine that connects to your lumbar spine, so your lower back, um, as well as your pelvis. Now, if you have issues in your connective tissues, then there may be some joint laxity there around the pelvis and around those bones, that bony structure. What we tend to forget, because it's kind of easy to focus on the bones and the muscles because they're closer to the surface for us, which means we tend to forget the viscera, the organs that are inside the pelvis and that have connective tissue that attaches to the bones. So while there also might be structural issues with the bones and tissues that connect bone to bone, there may also be challenges with the connective tissue that connect the organs to bones like the sacroiliac joint. So if we have a look at this picture and you can see there is the pelvic bowl and at the back is the sacrum and then we have the colon, the rectum, and then we have prostate or uterus and then we have the bladder. So around all of these organs, there's also more connective tissue and these connect to the back of the pelvis, the sacrum. If the tissues around these organs are not moving to their full range of motion, maybe they're not getting enough fluid, maybe there's some scar tissue in there and things are stuck, then those tissues are also going to be pulling on the SI joint. This is all well and good, you might say, Nicole, but what can be done about this? One thing that you can try and do to get more um, movement and softness around the viscera in your pelvic bowl is to use a soft ball on the front of your body, so around your belly button, lower um, belly area. You're going to lie on that ball, make sure it's not painful, and breathe. So what we're doing here is like a massage where we're gently pushing on the viscera and releasing. So we're compressing the tissues and releasing them. And as we compress them, there'll be a little change in fluid and a change in tension. And as we release them, same thing, a change in fluid and a change in tension. So we're gently introducing some pressure change and release into the viscera in the pelvic bowl in the hopes that this will have a knock-on effect to the back of the pelvis and to the sacral iliac joint. I'll do a little demonstration of the exercise. I do recommend using a soft ball or a slightly deflated ball like the gorgeous ball from Tune Up Fitness for this exercise. But if you don't have that, you could use a, a firm pillow or maybe a bolster, play a little bit and find out what works for you. I'll demonstrate with the gorgeous ball. It's nice because it easily rolls around, unlike a pillow. All you're gonna do for this exercise is place the ball underneath your belly somewhere that when you roll onto the ball, there is no pain, but you do feel some pressure. You should be able to relax down and you will feel possibly pressure coming up the front and you might feel a little pressure around your SI joint. And you are just gonna stay here and breathe. You're gonna breathe into your belly and then release. So maybe do five to 10 intentional breaths here and then change the position of the ball. Key things to remember for this are, make sure there is no pain. There might be sensation, but not pain. And you should also, easily be able to breathe in and out and not feel like you're lacking breath. Like a cat draped over a little toy on the floor, you want to just be able to soften and relax over the ball and just let gravity and your breath and pressure from the ball create change within your pelvic girdle so that there is less strain on your SI joint and lower back. I would love to hear how this went for you. I will see you in the next video.